In the United States, every year there is an average of 40 children who die from heat stroke after they were left in an unattended vehicle. Governor Gavin Newsom signed Assembly Bill 2717 into law in September. The new law will provide people with immunity from liability for damage to cars and trucks when someone is rescuing children age six and younger trapped in a vehicle. Assembly member Ed Chow was instrumental in getting this bill passed. Here in California for 2018 and 2019, there were six children who died as a result of that. And that's six children too many that, that are, uh, those are innocent and precious lives that could have been saved. And that is the reason why I introduced this uh, legislation, AB 2717. The bill takes effect January 1st. And here this morning is Doug Shoup with the Automobile Club of Southern California with some helpful reminders that we should be aware of as the heat continues. Doug, it's good to see you. It's nice to see you, Joe. Thanks for having me here this morning. So the thing is, these are just terrible accidents and, um, and that's just what they are for the most part. What are some things that we need to keep in mind when we know that there are children in the car? Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right, Joe. More than half of these heat stroke deaths happen when a caregiver, either a parent or a guardian, uh, becomes distracted and forgets about a quiet child, perhaps a child that fell asleep in the back seat. Uh, more than half of the heat stroke deaths happen because of that. And then about a quarter of these heat stroke deaths happen when a child gets inside of an unlocked vehicle and then becomes trapped inside. And I would imagine that a lot of people who might see something like that would kind of step back and say, well, you know, am I overstepping my bounds here? But it's the life of a child that's at risk. Regardless of whether you see a child or a pet inside of a vehicle, we recommend that you call 911 first and foremost right away so that you can alert law enforcement and the authorities in case you do need medical assistance, but follow those instructions from the 911 operator. You know, it's it's a, hard to imagine just how hot it gets inside of our vehicles. Parked inside the sun on a, on a day when we're in the 90s, temperatures inside that vehicle can reach more than 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Even on a mild sunny day, which we have a lot of, you know, in the winter uh, in the Coachella Valley, temperatures inside that vehicle can still reach deadly limits within just 10 minutes. So that's why, you know, these vehicles are like ovens. We don't want to leave anybody, a pet or a child, or even an, an, a mature senior citizen inside that vehicle, not even for a minute. All right, Doug, thank you so much. We appreciate the time today. Thank you, Joe. And keep it right here. We'll be right back.